the scriptures you and I read, when the apostle Paul says, don't be, okay, do not be drunk with wine in which dissipation, but be filled with the spirit. So what Paul is saying to us here today, let the Holy Spirit fill your heart. Let the Holy Spirit fill your soul, fill your spirit, fill your being, okay? Why? So that you and I will have the spirit of the living God inside of us. So the Bible says, okay, the Bible speaks to us that you and I needed to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If we don't allow our life to be filled with the Holy Spirit, then Satan will fill your life with the things in the world or even with his nature. As a Christian, the choice is yours. And the disciples were filled with joy and with? When the infilling of the Holy Spirit comes to you and me, it comes also the infilling of God's joy. How many people wants to have joy? I know some people got married with a woman named Joy, but that's not the real joy. Okay? <laughs> joy is not the result of having lots of money, living in a nice house, sleeping on a nice bed. Okay, driving a nice car. Okay, your business is booming. That's not the joy. The joy of the Lord, whether you have money or not, whether you accomplish things or not, whether you drive a, a, a nice car or not, it doesn't matter. You got joy inside of you. Why? Because the God of joy is living inside of Being you. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is a command from the Lord and... The command from the Lord is not for him. It is for us. It is for us. You know when you teach your children to really pay attention seriously, seriously to what you tell them, to what you teach them. Of course, for us as a parents, you know, there's uh, a little benefit on our part because it lessens our stress, right? It gives us peace. But when God tells you and me to be filled with the Holy Spirit, aside from it's a command from the Lord, it is not for God, but it's for us. All God speaks in His Word, every word that God commands you and me, it is not for Him. It is for God. Amen? It is for God, okay? So, why it's so important for us to be filled with the Holy Spirit? It is a command from the Lord. Whatever God's command, you and I are expected to, to follow and obey. You may probably ask yourself a question. Okay, pastor, I understand the importance. Now I understand the result, the manifestation of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, if I experience once, is that enough? No. Okay, the infilling of the Holy Spirit Okay, must be experienced every day. Say the word every day. every day. Every day. Why? Because when you drink water, you get thirsty again. Okay, so this is the thing here. The infilling of the Holy Spirit goes down if you don't, if you don't keep filling it and when you are being filled with the Holy Spirit, anything that is inside of you that it's not supposed to be there will go out because the Holy Spirit kept on filling you and filling you and filling you and filling you. You know, I remember when I was a younger Christian, a pastor used this illustration. He said, if you will put a sand, half full sand in a glass, let that glass half full with sand stay on a dripping uh, water uh, uh, faucet okay he said come back in an hour you're not gonna see the sun anymore why because the water kept on pushing the sun out as the water goes down into the glass it is the same thing with our relationship with God it is the same thing with the things in our heart remember last Sunday uh, you know um, how the word of God encourages you and me that we have to guard our heart for out of it springs the issues of life. 
So as we allow the Holy Spirit to keep on filling our heart, our spirit, our soul, anything, okay, any sinful nature, fleshly nature we have that, that it's in there will, you know, will constantly or will be flushed out out of our system. And you will become the person God wants you and me to be. Amen.